Ratner from Omni Spices and today I'm going to make a traditional Indian chicken curry for you using the Namaste curry from Omni Spices. It's going to be so fabulous. Here I've got two and a half pounds of chicken thighs and I'm just going to take them out and cube them. And after I cube them, I'm going to put the paste on them and just let them marinate while I'm getting the other ingredients ready. It's not going to take much time at all. These are boneless, skinless chicken thighs, which makes it a lot easier to cube. So you're going to want about one inch cubes. You're just going to throw everything in the bowl, and when you're all done, you're going to put the paste all over them. On my last one now. Now I'm going to take my cut up chicken and just add my paste to it. I would say at least two, and if you like it extra spicy or tasty, three tablespoons for two and a half pounds of chicken. I'm just going to get all the chicken coated. And then just let it sit on the side while I get everything else ready. Now I'm going to take my onion and do a really fine dice on it. If you want, you could use your food processor and just put the onion, the, um, the ginger, and the garlic all together and just pulse it and you'll be ready to go. But I like to dice everything and make it really nice and neat. And like I said, you want a really fine dice on this, so you're going to have to get really small pieces. And you, you want to use the whole onion. So once you chop it to get a finer dice on it, you can just chop right into your pile and everything sort of gets smaller from there. Makes it much easier to mince just like that. Now we're going to need about six cloves of garlic, so I'm just going to start out by opening it up and trying to get in there and get these guys out. I've got about five cloves of garlic and I'm going to finely mince these as well. If you have a garlic press, you can use that, it's really much easier. but I don't like to peel the skin and take forever to do that, so I just give it a good whack. And then the skin falls off really nice. 
So here's our garlic without the skin on. And you're just going to run your knife through it and get it as fine as you can. Now I'm going to take my ginger and I need about an inch of it and then I'm just going to peel it with a knife. There's a lot of different ways to peel it but I think using a knife is the easiest way for me. And then after that you can grate it with a grater. It gets to be really fine like that or you can just give it a few slices and do what we just did and run your knife through that. Make it as fine as you can. And there you have it, your finely chopped ginger. So now I'm just going to chop one more thing. That's my jalapeno. You can use jalapenos or serrano peppers and depending on how spicy you like it, you can use as many as you like. And if you like it really less spicy but you want the flavor of the chili, then you need to take out the seeds. But I'm going to leave them in because we like it spicy. I'm going to put my stove on high and add about four tablespoons of olive oil. Just basically coat the bottom of your pot. And as soon as it gets heated up, I'm going to start adding my onions. It's going to take a minute. Now I'm going to start adding the chicken in because I want it to get a little bit of color. And usually when you make a curry, you put all your other ingredients in first, but I like to do it this way. So I like to get a little caramelization on the meat, and that makes it have another level of flavor. So you're not going to take very long to add all your other ingredients to this, because the chicken is so small, it's going to cook up really fast. So pretty much as soon as I get it in the pot, I'm going to start adding my other ingredients. So I've turned my chicken a little in there, and I'm going to start adding all the other ingredients. All of these beautiful onions are going to go in. I'm going to give it another quick stir. Mm, it smells so good. Everything's getting that nice color of curry because of the taste. Now I'm going to add my garlic, and ginger, and jalapenos. Turn my heat down to medium. And just let it all cook together now. While that cooks, I'm going to start chopping my tomatoes. I've got six Roma tomatoes, and I want to just dice them. If you would like to use diced tomatoes in a can, you can. But usually in authentic curry, you have real tomatoes.
I'm not going to put these in quite yet um, because I want to give everything a chance to cook together and get a nice flavor going. And as soon as that happens, then I'll add this and the water and the chicken stock and we'll have our chicken curry. Okay, I've just finished chopping the tomatoes. I like to do a quick little cleanup. And I'm going to go back to the pot and give it a stir. It's looking really good. I'm going to give it about two more minutes and then I'm going to add my tomatoes, my water, and my chicken stock. And then maybe a little bit of yogurt as well. Now I'm going to add in my tomatoes so I can get a nice sauce going. And I just did a rough chop on these because they should break down pretty easily from the heat. And at this point, I'm going to add a little bit of tomato paste just to give it more of a tomato-y flavor. So probably two teaspoon, tablespoons. And then I'm going to add the rest of my paste, which is just two more tablespoons. That's all I had in this jar. And stir it all up and add our water, one cup of water, and I want to add one cup of chicken stock just to give it a nice taste. I'm going to stir it all together and let it simmer for about mm, 20, 15 to 20 minutes. And then we'll check on it again. Now my curry's all done, and I'm just going to do two more things to it. Add one cup of yogurt. Just mix that all around. And then I'm going to just cut up some cilantro for garnish. Add some into the pot. I'm going to get a ladle. And I've got just some plain cooked rice here. And I'm going to ladle a little of this right over. Oh, that looks good. Get some of the juice. Put some more cilantro on top. And there you have it. Authentic chicken curry. Enjoy.